Said the googly eyes to the pensive party poet in poem, sir, so as to impress me. Please share with me a fair sample of your words, for I'm more than eager to listen. So amidst the pops collars, popping collars, and the heavy drinkers drinking heavy, and the break dancers breaking dances, the pensive party poet replied, since the first time you caught my eye, your beauty has astounded me, and I never have, but I'll try to freely spout sappy love poetry. See your coy smile warms my cold heart. I could get lost in your eyes for hours with you. I see a work of an art. You ensnare me with your feminine power. So let's go. Let's run away together. I don't care how or where with you. I could be happy forever just running my fingers through your hair. So this is my poem for you. I hope you don't dismiss, and since I know not what else to do, I'll seal it with a kiss. And with that, the pencil party poet kissed the hand belonging to the googly eyes, making them all that more googly, and they fell for each other. Then and there, amidst the one-night unrequited lovers who were neither unrequited nor lovers yet would soon fall victim. And as the pencil party poet glared into the googly eyes, he noticed not the pop's collar until a push asserted his presence. Followed by a bulbous barrage of berations, the pencil party poet knew not how to fight, but knew that in a metaphoric fist the cuff, he had the upper hand. So as the pops collars were getting pulled away by the heavy drinkers and the break dancers, the pensive party poet replied, this poem is for you, good sir, whose name I never caught. If you thought your prize was her, it's best we never thought, fought. Because though you are the larger man, it's plain for all to see. You can strike me hard as you can, and she will still pick me. And so while you drive home tonight alone, debating how she chooses me of her own accord, it's obvious, good sir, that you're overcompensating because you know my pen is mightier than your sword. <laughs> and with that, the pensive party poet won the heart belonging to the googly eyes and they lived happily ever after, just like he wrote her, they would. <laughs>